I've had this sitting around since I found it at that dumpster like last month, and I figured it's about time I tried using it for something. And since I got that hard drive like a couple weeks ago or whatever, we're going to use that questionable hard drive. Uh, now it's wiped. We're going to use it in here. I don't want to give it a solid state drive. It just doesn't seem worth it since it's a Pentium to me from 2011. And of course, we're going to try Windows 10, see how well that goes. It's not going to go well, but it's just for fun. And I'm going to see if I can install a random Wi-Fi card in there. If you were able to see that slot over there, I think we can install a Wi-Fi card in there. Since we don't have one, that would be nice. No idea if it'll work, and I definitely didn't rip these antennas out from uh, the other one. Alright, we'll see if that works later or not. And then we're going to install a hard drive down here. With the screws that were provided to tape to the outside of this case for whatever reason. I'm not sure if we're going to do any thermal paste replacements on this. I might decide if it's throttling or something. I don't know. And we have 6 gigabytes of RAM. All my other RAM is being used, so we're just going with 6 and not like 8 or 16 or something. A lovely piece of tape. At least they let us have the screws. Kind of hard to record me screwing these in. I was struggling there for a minute. I think this is the first time I've installed a hard drive with screws. It's the first time for everything. Oh, and shout out to HP for using this screw on everything. Like, why? Whatever. All right, I think I have everything plugged back in. Um, yeah. Oh, that sounded awful. I'll just be back in a moment. Huh. I'm not sure why we're here. I didn't even do anything. I'm sure. I don't even know if it's using the USB or not. I might. Have, I think I tried using the Windows install stick to be able to reformat this drive or something. Um, I don't know. But we're here, I guess. Okay, yeah. It, it did go from the USB. I forgot to plug the hard drive in because I'm smart. Okay, I plugged it in midway. It doesn't really want to work now. I'm just going to shut it off and turn it back on. Yep, that's all it took. Just had to turn it off and back on. Do you guys like hard drive noises? I think we're here. Maybe. Ten minutes later, we're back. About time. I'll just finish the setup. We'll get on with it. I'm not showing my network name right now, but it actually showed my network, so I guess the card works. Hmm, what should I call this? Pavilion? Nah, I got a better idea. We'll just call this Pavilion. Hmm, yeah. Well, I think we're almost to the desktop, then I can let updates run. Maybe I'll try some... a few games on here or something. Ah, we're finally here. I'll connect this to the internet now to get drivers or something. And updates. Let the pain begin. It's gonna take forever. I'm really surprised that the current memory is so low. That's probably gonna change real quick though. Well, I guess that's the internet thing I got, or Wi-Fi card. I think we might have a bit of a network bottleneck. There's zero speed on this thing for the downloaded updates. I ended up just t disabling the Wi-Fi and putting a USB Wi-Fi on there because that speed was so freaking bad. And now we have some speed as opposed to like not even five megabytes a second, which was crazy. I'll probably re enable that Wi Fi chip thing later, but not before I get my network stuff done. I've been like waiting for everyone updates and downloading some stuff, but you know, I ended up installing Roblox because I don't think how anything's gonna run on here in the first place, but I feel like this has a chance. Oh boy. There's a little bit of input lag. It appears to be running though, that's crazy to me almost. This is basic though. But, I mean, I think it was worth testing, why not? Oh yes, graphics quality? No. I know this is gonna run, but I just wanna check out Jewel Twist. Cut to that in a sec. Well, no surprise there. 3D effects and the maximum resolution of the game of, like, was it 1920 by 1200 or vice versa? Yeah. All working just fine. 
which makes sense since I, this is not really a new processor. I'm gonna check if my YouTube videos when I play on here. Let me just make sure they're on the max resolution. 480p? No, we're going 1080p. Oh, geez. It's kind of a bit. It's a little bit bad. But you could actually watch videos this way. 720p might be a little bit nicer, but I think it'd be alright. Okay. Well, I guess I think that's all I'm going to be able to do with this thing right now. I don't really have much time to do more. It's like 10, and I kind of don't want to be sitting in my cold basement forever. I could probably do a few more things on here, maybe attempt to play Minecraft or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to bother waiting on that right now. So, there we go. The HP Pavilion. I guess it's still useful for something. I do want to test this optical drive out at some point, just because it's there. But that'll be for the future. Well, thanks for watching.